It's so beautiful. Before even rolling out of bed this morning, I wrote 815 words. I won NaNoWriMo today. Hi, hello, and good afternoon. My name is Amanda, and welcome to my channel. Today is November 24th, which means it is the 24th day of NaNoWriMo. I'm currently sitting at 48,257 words, which means I have 1,743 words to go. When I woke up this morning, I was really inspired. Like I had dreamed about the scene that I was looking forward to writing a little later but I got a little bit of information about it in the dream that I'm like, yes, this is gonna make things that much cooler. Before even rolling out of bed this morning, I wrote 815 words. The scene just kind of flowed right out of me, and of course I haven't written what came right before it yet, but sorry, my battery died and I had to run upstairs and go get a new one. But as I was saying, I think along the lines of, I'm really excited to get to that it's somewhere in Act 3, I'll just put it that way, so. Okay, so that being said, today is Sunday. I have the write-in today in about an hour and a half. I may, just may, hit 50K today. Hey, all that rhymed. Um, but yeah, I might hit 50K today. If you can't tell, I might just be a little bit excited about it because my reward for myself for winning NaNo is here and it's been here since like the second week of nano maybe almost third week second week hey hey walt how's it going you want to be a part of the vlog <laughs> well this showed up when ryan was out of town so that tuesday so whatever day that was if you don't know what this is in my very first nano vlog on november 1st i was online trying to get myself in on a little something something and i got in on it so yay me Yay! It's the Conspiracy Palette by Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson. And yes, I've opened it because I'm not that cool to just be like, oh, I'll just wait to open the whole thing till after I win Nano. No, I was gonna at least check it out, but I have not used it yet. Using it is going to be my reward for winning Nano. And I, I did unbox it already just so I could ooh and ah over it. And so this is the main box it came in. And then, the palette. Wow. I, I just, there aren't any words. It's so beautiful. And way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. That's what she said. But in person, these pans are like huge. Like, look at that. They are just so big. Again, that's what she said. Last Nano, I went to a 21 Pilots concert. This is my shirt from the concert. As you can see, um, for their Bandito tour, the colors were basically black and kind of a gray color and this yellow. Ryan and I went to the concert in Boise, Idaho, so we had to travel from Missoula. And while I was there, I'm like, I want to get some like bright yellow eyeshadow to go to the concert. I'll insert a photo of me at said concert here or getting ready for said concert here. My outfit I wore to the concert here, whatever you want to call that thing. The funny thing is I actually ran into Shay Carl from the Shay Tarts channel at the concert and it was funny because I had a dream like two days before the concert that I met him there and we sat together and we were like best friends or something. But I mean, we weren't best friends or anything, but we did get a picture, which I'll also insert here. Whole side tangent, at the Walgreens, I was looking for some bright yellow makeup and they had nothing. They had gold, they had pastel, but nothing, nothing like this. But look at this. The food video's color is like exactly the same color as the 21 Pilots Bandito. It's like a trench yellow. And also, you know, they kind of have the camo theme going with that. And some of these other colors, Conspiracy and Illuminati would be really good if you wanted to do, to mix it also with maybe spiraling and a little Tanacon. You can make yourself a nice, uh, bandito slash trench inspired eye makeup look. I don't know, I might try that sometime. I was so excited and if I win today that means I get to start playing with this even before the month is over. Pretty cool, pretty excited. 
Um, it's a good day. Ryan's got the kids out at his parents' house, so I can go to the write-in and I, of course, got some writing done this morning, so feeling really good about this. Now, if I can just get a little over a normal daily word count again today, I will have one nano. Not to brag or anything. <laughs> I mean, it's really nothing to brag about, but I'm just so excited. I'm in rare form today. If you check some of my earlier vlogs, especially my, I think my very first author tube or newbie tag video, I was like, I was so hyper in that video and I still apologize to anyone who has watched that and been like, God, what's, what's she on? What's going on with her? I don't do drugs, <laughs> I promise. I'm high on life. I'm probably not taking you with me to the library just because I feel kind of awkward still when I'm vlogging in public. I'll be updating you after the write-in whether I won or not. Well, probably a group of us may go out to dinner again as we always do just so we don't have to cook and we can hang out and talk and just touch base with everyone's projects and personal lives, just hang out. I think I'm gonna go and either way, I will see you at my next update. Did I win Nano yet or did I not? Stay tuned for that. NaNoWriMo today. During the write-in, I hit my goal and I am currently sitting at 50,199 words. So I'm 199 words over my goal and it feels really good, you guys. It feels so good. Whew, I can just take a huge sigh of relief that I finished, well, I finished the 50k, but I'm still gonna keep going. I may not be going at the grueling pace I have been, but I'm still gonna work on this throughout the rest of the month and even into December a little bit here and there. Though again, like I said, I'm not gonna go at the grueling pace. Today was actually my second highest writing day of this month and I got a total of 3,089 words on the 18th, I got 3,418. So those were my two, today and the 18th were my top two days during NaNo. And yeah, I feel really good about this. I just, I can't believe it. 50,000 words on my second book in this trilogy. I just, I can't believe it. It's just, it's so exciting. And I love where the story is going. And I'm so excited there are so many pivotal scenes that I have left to write and I'm just I'm really really excited to get to it but first a sigh of relief and a little bit of breathing room and not such a grueling schedule where I'm forcing myself to write X amount of words a day if the words want to come one day great if not not a big deal but what I'm going to do for sure is write every day in the car when I go pick Boston up from school. It's just what I do. It's just a habit at this point. So every day that I go pick him up for the rest of November at the very least, but probably into December, let's be honest, I'm going to go ahead and bring my laptop and work on that in the car. But for now, I better get going. Ryan should be home with the kids any minute and my computer battery is very low and I just need to take a deep breath. I'm just, ah, I'm so excited. This is my second Nano ever and the second Nano that I've won, I just, I can't, I still can't believe it. I started this month out very rough and rocky just thinking, oh my gosh, the words just are not coming. I don't know where to start this novel. I don't know the first couple of scenes and where to really dig my claws in and start this story and I'm still not 100% sure how I'm starting it but that's something I can figure out in the second draft or when I revisit this draft once I'm all finished writing because that's what I want to do just like I did last year during January during Jano Rimo I'm just gonna 
whatever's not written, my goal by the end of January is going to be to finish out this draft because I want to have it done and by that time I will be ready to dive back into the first book and take that through the third draft. Something that I had put on my summer writing contract that was supposed to be done by September 30th, but if you had watched some of my previous videos on that, I just bit off way more than I could chew it with that. But that's going to be a goal in early 2020 is to finish the third draft. That will be me implementing the critique group changes that I've received up to partway through the second draft and by that time probably closer to the midpoint. Anything that comes in as I'm still working on that third draft, I will go ahead and implement those changes or if there's something I know isn't really working or a subplot that I want to tune up a little bit, I mean I'm just going to go ahead and do that for the first book in the third draft. And there are still those three scenes, those three scenes that I need to write in book one that I will probably be writing before I start the third draft just so that I know they're there, I know they're finished and ready to go and they will be in the second draft status after I go through that third draft. So I will feel like they are polished up but gotta write them first. So I will go ahead and leave you at that and I will see you guys next time. All right, thanks, bye.